Hey everybody, it's Justice for Comics. Um, I know this is another video I'm shooting in the same day, but I just got in the mail today my Midtown comic uh, pre-orders, so wanted to do an unboxing of that. Um, also here, you can see this stack of books. I just got this over the weekend. This was my regular Midtown comic book order, um, meaning these weren't pre-orders. This is stuff that I bought um, not pre-ordered. And then this is my, my pre-order um, for the month for, I think it was, yeah, for the month of March. All right, so let's jump into it here. Um, first book here, Black Order. This is number four. I've uh, not been collecting every issue. I definitely picked up the first issue, the one in 50 in Hook Lee. I uh, got that for a really good price. Glad I did because that's a... It's an expensive book now, uh, but I love these in-hook Lee covers. Um, this one's just, you know, really, really good. Fighting Nova. Um, Black Swan versus Nova. Pretty cool cover. Definitely like in -hook Lee's artwork. Um, Conan, number one. This is the second printing. A um, little, little bit more rare, than, obviously, than the first printing. This is... I think I bought this off, I got this off of Midtown for cover price minus my discount. And right after I bought it, um, I noticed it was jumping up in price. I think on eBay, this was going for double cover, uh, maybe as high as 10 to $12. So uh, yeah, it's a cool cover and a nice lower print second printing. Uh, conspiracy number four, the Denver airport. Uh, this is the B cover. Uh, there's always two covers every month. I didn't really care for the A cover, and this B cover I really liked with the horse. And uh, I don't know. I don't know anything about the Denver airport, so I'm interested in reading this um, to hear about what that's all about. It could be pretty cool. But I've been enjoying this series. It's been really, really good by Zen Zenoscope, and it's a, usually a very low print run. So you may want to check that that title out. Uh, also, Deathstroke 41. A cover, I just, I like that cover. I've not been reading every single issue of Deathstroke, but um, I've been kind of just picking up the covers that I like. And the reading has been okay. I mean, I, most of the ones I've read have been pretty good. Uh, but I had that that run of Matina covers. Um, definitely, I had collected all those. So I did like this A cover, though, so I picked that up. Uh, I got Die Number 4, first print. Uh, I'm sure this will go to a second printing. <laughs> every single cop, every single issue of Die has been going to second and third, and I think number one's now out of fourth printing. It's crazy. Um, it's good series. I'm glad I picked up the copies that I did. Uh, the read, you know, it's been a good read, and the artwork in it is amazing. Uh, can't get much better than Stephanie Hans. I mean, she's good. So there's number four, um, Doomsday Clock. I think this is yeah number nine. Uh, there's the A cover and the B cover. So I've been getting both covers on this. Uh, it's a great read. Uh, number seven was one of the best comic books I'd read in a long time. It was so good. Um, so if you're not picking up Doomsday Clock, I highly suggest you get it. <clears throat> if you're way behind, you may want to wait till the trade comes out. Um, yeah, the only problem with this book is it hasn't been coming out on time. It's been coming out usually every other month, and then sometimes it'll be... Two months go by, so it's not been coming out on schedule like it should have. So, yeah, there's a lot of people that kind of been frustrated and have given up on the book because of that. But um, Jeff, it's Jeff Johns at his best. I mean, I like it almost as much as the original Watchmen. I mean, it's it's really really good. Uh, so definitely a pickup, a definite pickup in my opinion. Um, Edgar Allan Poe's Snifter of Terror. This is the Psycho. Homage, right? Homage to Psycho. Uh, these, these have been pretty good reads. They're funny. Um, you know, it's not a serious comic book. Uh, but I really liked all the covers on this, and it's definitely a low print run. Um, most of them have been selling out on, on Midtown fairly quickly. So uh, this is on my pull list <clears throat> for sure. Uh, friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number three. Total cover buy for me. I just think this is an awesome cover. Um, that's the only reason I bought it. I'm not, you know, I'm not particularly fond of the story. I don't think it's anything fantastic. But Andrew Robinson did the cover here, and the coloring on this is 
just fantastic. That's really a good cover. So that's the reason I bought that. Uh, George McDonald's The Light Princess, number one. Um, this sold out very, very quickly on Midtown. Uh, glad, kind of gl glad I picked it up. Um, Cave Comics has been really, really good. They sell out very quickly, very low print runs. So I don't know if long-term this will have any real value or not, but uh, I'll give it a read and see if it's any good, and I might collect the first couple issues just to try it out. Uh, God of Bad Men, number two. This has been a very hot book. Uh, issue number one sold out very quickly. So did issue number two. This is selling $10 to $12 pretty easily on eBay. Um, yeah, now you just have to wait till it, get it gets optioned, right? <laughs> and then it'll be even more money. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a low print run book. Uh, Amigo Comics is the publisher, so they do very, very low print runs, and this sells out within 30 minutes on, on Midtown, so it's it's a pretty hot book. Uh, Harley Quinn, number 59, that's the Derek Chu cover. I just picked it up. I've been kind of collecting these B covers uh, of Chu. Pretty decent. I mean, I, I don't really care for the writing on Harley Quinn, but um, I picked it up. What the heck? Uh, high level number one. This is the Matina cover. I was interested in trying this book out. I've not been overly impressed with DC Vertical Comics lately, um, but a Matina cover gives me a good reason to buy it, and it's the issue issue number one of a new series. So I'll give it a read and see if it's any good. Uh, I don't know that I'll pick up any more issues, but if Matina's doing the cover, I'm, there's a high likelihood I'll pick it up. Uh, Honor and Curse number one. This is a very hot book. You know, you go on eBay right now. This is easily selling for fifteen to twenty dollars or more. Um, I ended up picking up two copies of this. I put it in mylar right away. Um, you know, I, I'm interested in reading it. I haven't read it yet, but uh, I've heard a lot of great things about it. Mark London is the writer. Um, yeah, we'll see if it's any good. But the cover is pretty cool. I mean, the artwork's nice, and of course, Mad Cave Comics. Low print run. I'm sure this will go to a second or third printing at some point. So if you haven't picked this up, I would look for it. Uh, Immortal Hulk number 14. I got the A cover. A cover is probably in this pre-order. I think I pre-ordered the A cover, but didn't didn't pre-order the B cover. So decided to pick that up as well. Um, I think that's a Sandoval cover, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too sure who the artist is on that. Uh, Knights of the Golden Sun, number four. Been picking up every issue of this since the beginning. Um, it's been selling out pretty quickly. I think number five just came out. It's coming out this week, and I don't think it's sold out on Midtown. So there, it might be some interest that might be waning on this a little bit. But the artwork in this is amazing, and the story is really good too. So uh, I definitely recommend this. Another Mad Cave comic. All right, uh, this is an incentive buy I made. Um, the Marvel Comics Presents number two. This is the Perel variant. It's a one in 50. Uh, I got this for $40, $42 with my discount. And you go on eBay right now, there's only six copies for sale on eBay, and it's $75 to $80 or more. So definitely happy I picked this up. It's definitely going for more than I paid for it. And it's a pretty cool cover. I mean, I, I love the... It's kind of like a Norman Rockwell. <laughs> Perel is kind of like Norman Rockwell. I mean, he's got that Norman Rockwell type feel to it. I don't know. It just Wolverine definitely looks like somebody that could be in a Norman Rockwell painting. <laughs> it's just it's really good. So I love this cover. I just that's total cover buy for me. Don't know if it's any good to read, but the cover's sweet. Uh, Middle West number four, Scotty Young. Um, very cool cover, uh, very good series. Um, if you haven't been buying this, that's too bad because it's, it's hot. You know, issue number one's, you know, $20, $25 book now. The variant's like $100 or more. So it's, it's definitely a very good series. I'm glad I picked up, um, picked up all the A covers. I don't, I don't, and the variants. I don't have probably second or third printings, but, um, I may eventually get those. But definitely a good series if you want a good read and good artwork. Uh, Nightwing 57 that is the DeCall, Jeff DeCall variant. Beautiful um, 
Beautiful cover. The total cover buy for me. Not been picking up every Nightwing issue, but um, definitely been picking up some of the Putri covers. You know, anything that has a great cover, I'll tend to buy, and this one is no exception. I love this cover. Very good. Uh, One Star Land, Volume 2. Oh, I'm sorry. One Star Land, Number 2, Volume 1, Number 1, I guess is what this is. Uh, I bought the original series when it came out from Scott Scout Comics. It was very good. Uh, looking forward to reading this, and it's sold out very quickly on Midtown. So yeah, I'm sure it's going for double cover price at this point. Uh, this was a pickup for me, Port of Earth number two. This was the variant cover. I got this for cover price on Midtown. Um, this thing got optioned for a TV series. Uh, I've got the variant cover for number one, so I thought, eh, I'll get the variant cover for number two just so I have at least the first two two copies of the variant covers, which are kind of cool. So, yeah, for, for cover price minus my discount, it was a good deal. So I'm glad I picked that up. Uh, punchline number four, I think this is my second copy of this. I think I had pre-ordered this originally uh, and also bought an extra copy by mistake. So I've got two copies of that. Uh, Red Sonia number two. This is the Joe Jusco variant. Uh, not the Virgin one. That's the a more expensive book. This was just cover price, and I just I just like the cover. I thought, eh, I'll give it a try, see if it's any good. Definitely a cover buy for me on that. Uh, these Savage Shores. That's kind of hard to say. These Savage Shores. <laughs> Issue number two. This is the second printing. I have a first print of this as well. And then this is issue number one. I think this is also a... This might be a third print. I'll have to look. I think this might be a third print of number one. So it's been a hot title. Very good series. Good writing. Very good artwork. Um, definitely one that I would put on your pull list. Uh, Seven to Eternity, number 13, A cover. Um, just been collecting the series since the beginning. Um, yeah, It's kind of fallen off for me. It's not as good as it was when it started. I'm hoping it gets better, but... Um, it's decent. I mean, Remender does an, a pretty good job overall. And just, I'll stay with this for a while, um, see how it goes. But, you know, artwork, it can't get much better than Jerome Pena as far as artwork. And Remender does a decent job on writing. So, yeah, we'll see if that improves. Uh, Tony Stark, Iron Man number nine, total cover buy for me. I forgot I didn't pre order this book. So, in a scramble, I went on Midtown and they still had. This still hadn't sold out yet, um, but this is a beautiful um, Alexander Lorazzo, Lorazzo cover. I mean, the detail on this thing is just phenomenal. I love this cover. I mean, this is one of those covers you could just sit there and look at for a while. <laughs> it's, it's, there's so much going on in it. It's so cool. Total cover buy for me. I don't, the writing's not that great. I don't care for the story that much, but the artwork is awesome. Uh, Venom number 11, A cover. Stegman, definite buy for me. And then the C cover, the Dave Gibbons cover. I didn't pick up the B cover. I know that that book is somewhat hot, but um, yeah, I just like the, the Watchmen homage, homage, or whatever you want to call it. Just thought that was a cool cover. Uh, Wolverine Infinity Watch number one. I'm a big fan of Ji Hung Lee, and that's his artwork right there. So. Total cover buy for me. We'll see if the story's any good. I doubt it will be. Um, Marvel tends to screw up a lot of these uh, these type of stories. So uh, we'll see. But I like the cover a lot. All right, so that that's my regular Midtown order that I got for the month of March. Um, and then here is... I'm going to open up my, my pre-orders. All right, so first off, these won't be in alphabetical order or anything, but um, Batman Who Laughs, number one, that's the Grim Knight. That is the Delato cover. I'm sure everybody will be getting that. That looks really cool. Uh, Daredevil, number two, Tedesco cover. Uh, that's been really good so far. I've it's definitely got me back into Daredevil. I kind of fell off of Daredevil for a while. Uh, Grim Knight number one A cover Jock. I pre-ordered that a long time ago, a long time ago. 
uh, Age of Conan Be Lit number one. Just went with the A cover, pre-ordered it. Um, I love Sana Takata's artwork. She does monstrous. Uh, her artwork is just phenomenal, and I just love that cover. So definitely give that a read. Uh, Winter Soldier number four. Uh, this has been a great series. I've really been enjoying it. Um, artwork is amazing. Story's good. Uh, just I've been buying this since the beginning and looking forward to how forward to uh, how this ends. So one more issue left, number five. Uh, X-23, number 10, this is the N. Hook Lee villains variant. Total cover buy from me. Um, X-23 has been okay. It's, the writing isn't that fantastic in it, uh, but the artwork on this is just phenomenal. I love it. Beautiful. Uh, Star Wars Darth, uh, Vader Dark Visions, number one, A cover. Pre-ordered this. Just thought it would be a good series. I like the cover. It's, uh, I guess it's an homage to an old Frank, Frank Frazetta cover from what I've read on it. So, yeah, give it a read, see if it's any good. All right, there's that Immortal Hulk number 14 I was telling you about. Uh, I've got the, I had the B cover in my regular order in my pull list, and then I pre-ordered this one, the A cover. So, been a great series. Looking forward to continuing with that. Cosmic Ghost Rider Destroys the Marvel Universe number one. Uh, I love Zafino. I'll see if this is any good. Um, don't know if it will be or not, but I love uh, Geraldo Zafino's artwork. So I would have bought this just for the cover anyway. So we'll, we'll see if, it, if the writing is any good on it. Uh, Conan number four, A cover by Ribic. It's been a good series. I like the covers a lot. Uh, Black Order number five. So four was on my regular pull list, and I don't know why I didn't pre-order number four, but I pre-ordered number five. So very cool cover. Another beautiful In Hook Lee. I'm sorry, yeah, In Hook Lee, that's who did that. Uh, Batman 66, I think that's the A cover. Janin, very cool cover, I like that. Uh, Spawn, I don't know. What is this, 297, 296? Uh, number is this dang thing. 294, okay. So I think this is the B cover, the Virgin Matina B cover variant. Pretty cool, I love that Matina cover, very nice. Savage Sword of Conan, number two, Alex Ross cover. Um, I like the first issue. I mean, some people didn't think it was that good. I thought it was pretty good. So I'll see if it continues to hold my interest. Uh, Martian Manhunter number three. Totally forgot that I even bought this. <laughs> but we'll see if it's any good. It's a Middleton cover. See if that's any good. I haven't really been... The first two issues were okay. Ice Cream Man uh, number 10, A cover. That's been a good series. That should be a good read. Uh, Black Hammer, Age of Doom, number eight. This is the Sinkovich cover. Very nice cover. And you've also got the B cover on that. And that's been a good series if you want a, something good to read there. Uh, Action Comics, 1008. Um, not a big Bendis fan, but I did like this cover. I think it's... Um, I think it's DeCall did it. I'm Jeff DeCall, I could be wrong about that. But I just thought that was a nice looking image. Monstrous, number 20. Um, good series, been reading all, the, all, that, all the way through on that. And Batman 65, I think that's the B cover on that. I think it's Johnson did that. So that's it, those are all the books I picked up for the week, or for the month of March rather. Um, let me just highlight real quick. Um, yeah, so this is the black and white uh, Harley Quinn Detective Comics 1000. That's going to be coming up for pre-sale this weekend, so you may want to look for that. Uh, I definitely like this cover. I've got the original, uh, the Virgin, I think I picked up on this. And this is... Um, 
That's the color. So it's, there's a, basically a black and white coming out. Only 1,500 copies made. Uh, the version on this, I think, is limited to only 1,000. So this set's going for like 300 bucks now, 350. I think I paid 50 bucks for the set uh, right when it first came out. So hopefully I'll be getting that here in the next two weeks or so. So yeah, we'll see. I'm looking forward to that. But that's kind of all I had, guys. Those were the books I got for the month of March. Look for my video tomorrow. I'll be highlighting books that are coming out for the following Wednesday. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.